Hey everybody, I was uh, wanting to make a video about Obama and his uh, correspondent dinner farewell, I guess, to Ed Henry, where he went on for 18 minutes just telling jokes, maybe. I thought there was a lot of truth, though, into the jokes. Uh, I'm probably going to have to remake this video, but let's go over some of the stuff that he said. Uh, when he first took the job, he was a young socialist Muslim. And now he's saying he's not. Does that mean he's radicalized himself? You tell me. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that one. The funniest comment I thought he made was when he said BuzzFeed is what he thought you did in college at 2 a.m. He did. Seriously. Uh, I think he confused BuzzFeed with cocaine. I'm just saying. Uh, a lot of truth into the jokes. And then he was talking about him not even being born in America. Uh, this one, I think, eventually, within a month, will have a lot of uh, people and videos about it. He said something about the presidential library will be hard for people in America to see since he's not born in America. And... Well, like I said, I thought there was a lot of truth to the jokes, and uh, some of them were, were pretty funny, but I just don't care to uh, joke or see the president joke for 20 minutes with all the problems we're having in America economically, and it was, uh, it was something to see. You could see a lot of... Uh, you can see Christy from New Jersey, he just looked so heated, and then he kind of laughed, but, uh, like, just watching that, uh, correspondent dinner where he was talking about doing cocaine, not being born in, uh, America, and just just not being a socialist, a social Muslim anymore, and seeing a lot of the bills that are being passed, where, like I heard it, uh, you're sharing your religion in the military now, you can be court-martialed. So I mean, it seems that's so ridiculous. I mean, this country was founded on being free from religious persecution, and now the military, the Pentagon, and the Obama administration is not letting uh, you share your religion in the military, which is going to be probably a big factor for people joining the military. If I was a Christian, I am a Christian, but if I was a Christian looking to go into the military, I would uh, not go now since they uh, don't want me to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, but with the Benghazi situation, the economic situation, the many failures of this Obama administration, uh, I want the Benghazi survivors to, uh, testify. I heard they might be testifying, but I want them to testify because I want to know what they know. I want to know if they were actually looking into the cameras pleading and begging Obama for help, why they knew he was watching, and, uh, or even if he says something such to the detrimental case as, we can't do nothing, I mean, I want to know what they know, and I also think another reason he, another impeachable offense is the Fast and Furious, uh, scandal that really, it really, that, that takes me off more than anything because, Thousands of Mexican civilians have been slaughtered due to this, along with uh, a border patrol agent, uh, Brian Terry, I think his name is. But after watching the correspondent 
comedian stand by uh, Obama. It's just, I don't know. I mean, was he being serious? Was, I mean, he was born in Kenya. He did cocaine in college. He's not a socialist Muslim anymore. Just basically telling us he's more radicalized, I guess. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, everybody, have a good one. <laughs>